So like, what if I said that there was a song that my mom used to play when I was really little, and it was by a singer named Sherry Jackson. Sherry Jackson was pretty cool, but the song itself was, well, you, you'll you see. I don't know where I could find the lyrics for it, but I've known it, I think, by heart for a few years, because my mom used to get me to sing it. It's thing about getting a child to sing about murdering her husband is entertaining to adults. I don't know. But, I like this song, and they like this song. The song is awesome. The song is called Rice and Beans, and it makes my heart smile. Yay, homicide! <coughs> I loved a man from New Orleans. Loved a man from New Orleans, and he loved me back. Oh, so it seemed. Cause he made me that big pot of so rice and beans, and I married that man from New Orleans. So he made me that big pot of so rice and beans. I grew pretty big, I couldn't fit in my jeans But my man still loved me, or so it seemed I remember that day just like a dream I got home early, couldn't believe what I seen my man was with another so pretty and lean. I look what he done to me with his rice and beans. Well, I got me a pistol and I shot at Jim Bean. And I crept my way quietly up to the scene. I say, excuse me, honey. I really hate to be me. But you cooked your last pot of rice and beans. And cue fiddle music, of course, because that fiddle music. So guys, cars running over people, overrated. Pistols and singing while you kill people, that's my advice. If you're going to have to go kill people, do it with song, because that way everyone wins. Okay, not really. Somebody dies and you go to jail and people probably upload the video of you singing on YouTube and then everyone laughs and they're like, oh man, that guy's either a really great singer and I like him, but I don't want to like him as a murderer. Or they're like, awesome. This is hilarious. And they make you into a meme and you're just doomed forever to be recalled and weird phrases come up with by bored adolescents, teenagers, and lonely nerds. Life.